Oh, and I'm putting in more detail about the Acer Power FH low powered gaming computer that I've had posted on eBay. Inside we have a Acer Power FH motherboard with uh, one gigabyte of memory installed. It's 512 each memory stick. It can go up to two gigabytes, which is probably what you would want to do. If you were keeping the motherboard, I would highly recommend upgrading it as soon as you get it. It has an EVGA GTX 260 graphic card installed. It also has onboard graphics. It's not really that great, so I wouldn't recommend using it. Right now we're testing out the boot of the computer and how fast it starts up. I'm not sure if you were counting, but that is the time it takes from the boot screen and you can go ahead and check how much power it's taking it has a 32 gigabyte SSD as well as a IDD drive that came with the Acer Power originally in its original case right now it's in a RAID Max It has a 500 watt power supply on that case. And the 500 watt power supply has been modified just a little bit. So far, it takes 90 watts to 107 watts operating normal, but I'm pretty sure it could take a little bit more than that while gaming. I just showed you the right now with this plug in my wireless controller. And there we go. So here's the GTX 260 graphic card. Uh, it's installed and there's a cooler master heatsink I didn't put any fans on it, doesn't really need it there's still one gigabyte of memory and the 500 watt power supplies up there so anyways Talking about the computer case, uh, the processor is a Pentium dual core processor. It can be upgraded to uh, Core 2 Dual. There's my uh, receiver for my wireless controller, which is not included. So we'll go ahead and play uh, one little match. Show you how the graphics are rendered in the frames per second just by looking. I'm not gonna run fast because it's probably not as high as it looks like it is. I'm actually a pretty good at this on PC3, but not on PC. I probably should practice one and two. Of this is being played on my network that I rerouted from upstairs, which is rerouted from outside. So. It's all wireless and it's a lot of connection, so it gets slower as you go along. But this is just to test out how it looks, and as you can tell, it looks it doesn't look that bad for uh, 1280 by 800 screen resolution, which is the highest for that screen there on that, the VGA port that I have adapted to the DVI. EVGA precision can be used to, you know, modify and adjust your GPU. I highly recommend for this GTX 260, which is one of the first, you don't go past 700. It's highly recommended that you just, you know, stick with around 615, 630, kind of pushing it. Unless you plan on upgrading, because one, this motherboard is not really that powerful, and two, graphic card is not really that powerful either. I have it set 576, which is pretty decent. I think that would work good. If you overclock it, that'll also be it'll improve the graphics a little more. But you pretty much would know if you are overdoing it.
and you don't want to you know find that on the desktop there is a restoration file that I created with all the drivers and the programs like uh, Microsoft Office 2007 which I installed on there so if you need to restore anything that's on there it's a very large file so I highly recommend that you actually take it off of the computer in some way like rip it to a DVD or if you have a flash drive put it on the flash drive because it will eat up all your space and as you can tell from on the desktop I don't know if you see it the space is very limited on this it's about uh, 5 gigabytes left so I'm gonna go ahead and compress the hard drive right now so when you finally get it, whoever's getting it, it will be a little bit smaller. Even if you're going to format, like, completely format the hard drive and not use what's on there right now, I highly recommend that you copy that folder first onto a flash drive or burn it before you do all that, because you would have to search all around to find drivers again. And as for, like, the audio drivers, the ones that you get off of the um, Acer website is not good. You would actually have to go to Realtek and download the latest driver there. Even though I already have it in the folder, so you don't have to worry about that. Just saying if you. F so, right now we're going to try uh, and test the weight, see how much it weighs. Uh, already packaged it, everything's on there. The network card's on there. Be aware, buyer that the net wireless network card that's installed in the PCI slot on the board does not work. It's just there for show. If you know how to fix it, on the other hand, it's a Buffalo wireless card. You can tell the part number on there. Yeah, it looks like 43 pounds. Yeah, you can tell the part number on there. You can download the driver so you can try it on your own. You can use the antenna that's on there because that antenna is the same, you know, same socket as the one on the... the Roswell one that comes with it. The Roswell one is in the box and it's plugged into the USB socket so be careful when you're taking it out not to break that. The drivers for the Roswell is also inside the drivers folder on the computer so do not delete. Anyways, here's the scratches. There's some scratches. There are more scratches on the top of the case. It's a scratch magnet unfortunately. Here's my the old motherboard. If you think you can fix it, it'll be listed on eBay and you can buy that too and fix it. It has a core 2 quad processor and it has about 7 gigabytes of memory on it so it's well worth a buy. There's the case again.